Hello, hello, this is Crucifer, and welcome to Zundabar. This is my server with some of my immediate friends that we built and play on. This is actually our third server. Uh, we'll have to do some server tours of our other servers, but welcome, and I will just start off by giving you guys a tour of what is done so far on this server. So you can see me in my Superman outfit. This is what I've worn for a couple years now in Minecraft. So um, we're going to throw some armor on. And as you surely can see by my inventory, we definitely did not just spawn into this server. So we've been on the server for a few months now. And uh, it's kind of on and off, you know, kind of go into phases. So um, I won't be doing uh, continuously post. Uh, maybe that will change sometime in the future. But I will just take you guys through. Uh, I'll give you guys a tour of what I've done and some of uh, my friends have done so far. Mostly of what I've done. And then what we'll do from there is then we'll just continue uh, building. And I will do progress updates on all of those. And uh, continue to show you guys what the server is becoming. Uh, so, well, this is spawn right here. Um, somewhere around here. You know, when you spawn into Minecraft, you kind of spawn um, in a couple blocks in like a, almost like a radius. Um, I don't know the exact uh, place, but yeah, it's, it's right around this hill, um, on the side of this hill. And as you can see, I torched the place like crazy. Um, that keeps some mobs from going out. And so I'll kind of take you through a little bit of what we did in order to survive. So um, in the beginning, so we spawned in. Oh, we looked around. We got some wonderful water here. You can see some floating fish there. Um, and the first thing we did was start a food stores. So community, and I, I made these, um, like this is where you first spawn in. So for any of my friends that hadn't spawned in yet or will spawn in, or if we have anybody join us along the way, they can spawn in and I put a bot chest of food right there as well. But then, you know, um, if they want, they can use any of this stuff around the area. And this is... I mean, we haven't spent too much time uh, building and spawn, so this is pre it's pretty barren. It's just kind of like the remnants of, of starting out and kind of getting some base materials. And then uh, so we can go out and explore, find some really cool spots to build in, and we'll get all into all of those in a bit. But yeah, so over here, when we first started out. Um, oh, and this is the path block, and I'm sure you guys are familiar with, that came out in, uh, I think it was, was 1.10, yeah, I think it was, yeah, 1.10, or maybe it was 1.9, I don't know. Um, I, we actually, so for reference, if any of you are fans of Hermicraft, that we started this server about two weeks before Hermicraft Season 4 started. So pretty much almost, well, okay, yeah, pretty much almost the same time that Hermicraft Season 4 started. So I've been continuously watching Exuma Void, who is probably my favorite Minecraft, no, not probably, he is my favorite Minecraft uh, YouTuber, and I would definitely recommend all of you to go check out his channel. I will leave a link to his channel in the description. So go ahead and check him out below. He is definitely awesome. And I am hoping to strive to make as good of quality videos as he does. Well, if not as good, um, close to as good because his videos are pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, so this is, this is, uh, pretty much just like a let's play Minecraft of this server. So here um, we have the wheat that fed us in our early game. Um, I'm sure, you know, it started off with a few seeds and then they would grow to wheat and then I collected the wheat, made some bread and it just kind of evolved. I mean, obviously not huge automated farm or anything, but this is, was great to get us started. All right, and then up next, so here's some sugar cane that we did. So. I harvested some sugar cane to make some paper because I wanted to make uh, get some books up so we could get some of our weapons 
ooh, excuse me, uh, some of our weapons and picks enchanted. So that was up, and one of our first things, actually, I'll take you right down here, was the, the mine shaft. So, you know, first thing, starting out, going down, finding some coal to make some torches and um, some some diamonds and some iron to start getting a little bit of armor here and there. So as you can see, um, we've done quite a bit of mining. Um, the mine shaft goes a couple hundred blocks down that way. And then you can see we are doing the branch mining. And Exuma Void, who I just mentioned, um, actually has some great videos on the most effective way to do branch mining to get diamonds and other resources. And so that is the method that we use. And so shout out to him again um, for kind of doing analysis on that. Well, I'm like a numbers guy and Minecraft is kind of a numbers game. Um, so, you know, it would be something that we, we could have figured out after, you know, just doing some calculations. But uh, luckily, uh, some wonderful people have already done that. <laughs> um, Actually, let me show you this then since we're down here. I'll show you. So this is for a minecart rail that I had visioned. I just haven't placed it because I don't come down. I don't come over here as much anymore. And you'll see why soon. But this was pretty cool where you would come in and then you would actually go in here. And this is, I also have to put this in. And then you kind of come across the way and then you start going up. And see how I kind of have this zig, this jagged line all the way up in these torches and it goes all the way up <laughs> so this was one of my first big projects that i did on the server just because i don't know why i get such a kick out of mining um like quarry type holes <laughs> as you can see i haven't even taken the ladder down yet but this was yeah one of my first projects and i kind of mined down i did all this without a beacon and oh my oh my i forget what it's like to mine without a beacon and um, wonderful fully enchanted diamond tools um, because usually once you get up and running you get all that up and running um, pretty quickly on a server and then you just go from there and you have those things just at your fingertips the rest of the time so when you're first starting out it's always uh, interesting uh, to take you back and so you see there's some fences right there from a viewing platform for our minecart hub and that is where we're gonna go up next I pop right back up and I oop, I getting a little bit of lag there so yeah so I'll just say right now too there is a little bit of lag I've I've, I've made a couple of videos of some builds that I've been working on right now and I notice in some replays on occasion I get it like a leg spike where it skips a few words and gameplay just kind of jumps a few seconds and that's no good we don't like that so up next uh, so this is just a couple little buildings and I know those buttons blend in way too much I should place those with stone it's very woody uh, structure and then here we got like a little top hat uh, structure as well and this is the minecart hub that I mentioned those fences so those here's the dark oak fences that I was just talking about oh and this is a temporary this is like a little mini pumpkin farm I came across some pumpkin seeds in a mine shaft so I went ahead and got those planted right away and you can see in our inventory we have quite a few ink sacks reason we have a bunch of ink sacks is because those are for the current project I'm working on, which we will get to in a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, it's just a button that just shoots some pistons that pops the pumpkins and then you run forward and grab them. So, you know, one of the other first things to start off on is we collected food and we got some sugar cane going here for some books for enchantments. And then, of course, you can't do anything without getting some animals. So we lured some chickens and some cows over here. There's an empty pen for pigs, I think I was saving it for. Anyway, we have a couple different colors of sheep. Um, and the different colors of sheep, so you can see blue was the most recent one that I was working on. And, man, these animals are annoying. Um, not too annoying. Here we got some but they can be quite a bit loud on occasion all right and then in her main base of course we'll we'll separate those guys out a little bit further away from everything else so we don't have to listen to them um 
do oh yeah that's what i was showing you the minecart hub sorry i just walked away from this for a moment see here um you know this is just pretty generic colors nothing fancy here but here we can come over and we can look down and see this uh part quarry that i dug out for the mine car to be kind of cool to stand here and watch somebody else fly down to the mine shaft uh and you look this way so here is a mine cart hub so these are rails that you can claim. Oh, see, here's the blue wool for the blue sheeps. That's why the sheeps were blue, because I decorated some background with the blue. And then here we got station one and two, evens on the right side, odds on the left side. And I believe it goes up to 20. Um, and then I put signs down here at the end if you want it expanded. Um, contact me and I can extend it. Oh, 16, not 20, 16. Okay, apparently we only have... So when I first built this, I was thinking that spawn base would kind of be like our home base where everybody would like um, build, you know, their structures and this would be kind of the main area. But I ended up finding another place that I kind of wanted to do on this server. So um, we have one minecart right now and that's it. <laughs> and that's probably won't be too many more mine carts uh, built into here and whoop, there we go we chopped that mine cart down <clears throat> that was in our way so this mine shaft so this goes to my spawn base my yeah my spawn base that's what we should call it um so this was the first place that I built up when I kind of first started off to get some storage going. As you can see here, we got some storage, food, blocks, etc. You can see I just started stacking up some things. You can see here I have these leaves as kind of like a, this is like a temporary makeshift um, uh, maintenance shaft. So you can see here this building is, and I'll, you can look more uh from the distance when we were standing over there their spawn is like right around that area that's where where we took the mine cart goes down it comes down through here comes up uh this right here that i'm pointing at this little station this is one of my friends um kind of like start build just kind of goofing around getting a little thing started up so we're actually going to tear this out um, because he started another base over there and just we haven't taken the time to tear this out because we haven't spent much time over here so we're going to be tearing this down um, and replacing it we'll do some terraforming get it back to normal and then um, i'm excited i think i will develop this area a little bit but not too much because we have lots of plans elsewhere and i keep saying that so i'm going to stop saying that and just finish this tour so we can get on to those builds all right so as you can see, I just kind of went for stone bricks. I had a lot of stone from mining, looking for resources. We've got some fence and some um, uh, vines crawling down the side of the building. Some buttons and logs is kind of like the support. Kind of like, uh, you know, I did it like, oh, no, oops, oh, I just fell. Oh, great. We're going to have to go around here. Um, actually, hey. I guess we'll now get this decent view here. Whoops, I can't jump around. Yeah, so you can see here. So I was going for, and I'll come down here, come a little bit, a little bit of ways away. I was going for the lighthouse feel. So as you can see, I got a little red and white on the top up here. But you see, I only have got a little bit of red and white. And then I kind of got like a lightning, lightning came and struck our lighthouse and burned that, <laughs> burned that up. So, man, that was rough. <laughs> you know, I did this, but it's okay because I didn't really like, I like this base, kind of how this base came out of this um, mountain right here. And then I didn't really care for the top part of it because it just looked funny the proportions weren't exactly where i wanted them to be as far as like the actual red and white lighthouse part was so you know what it's not that big of a big of a deal and fix it later on all right and so that's pretty much spawn base not a lot here not a lot going on in this area so but a lot going on um, in the other places. So let's go ahead and hop in the nether 
and go to our next area. And here we are in the nether. Now I am going to fast track and fast forward us through running through the nether. You will see us running and um, you can see nothing special. I haven't done anything like a nether hub yet. And I got signs to other portal hub. So this is, uh, we have in the middle a portal hub. Oh my goodness, you guys see that gas? Oh, I don't have my bow and arrow on me because I left it behind because I was building. And I, let's see. Okay, good. Oh, good. We didn't lose really any uh, red dust or nether brick on the top there. So the reason we have red, um, red dust, uh, redstone, redstone dust. I guess I got part of the words uh, on there. On the ground here is because we don't want the zombie pigmen to spawn in our one two by one pass because they can be pretty annoying running through. And especially like the two by one pass that are just kind of like extended over lakes of lava and you have to like get bumped by them and fall in. We don't want to do that. So kind of here is the middle of all of our current nether portals. So I think this is where our nether hub will be in the future. So we have a couple different directions um, that we can go from here. Um, and you can see it kind of have like the spawn base is right where we came from. And then we've got, we've got a guardian farm. There's an ice spikes biome that I found in caution because ice spikes biome path to that nether portal is it's like a thousand blocks um like way that way it, like a, so when i say say a thousand blocks that's like a thousand blocks in the nether it was really far away um but it's caution because that that nether it's like a two by one very scary open there's holes in the over lava lakes because the gas was shooting at me on the way back the last time i was there and didn't have any repair supplies all right, so up next was the village. So this is where I went next. The reason I made a path straight to the village first uh, when I made this world was because, you know it, the mending perk or uh, the mending attribute that we can now add to our tools and armor. And oh my gosh, this is one of the best additions to Minecraft, um, in my opinion, um, for, for quite some time. I've been playing Minecraft for a few years, not since beta or, you know, like some of those other crazy guys who've been playing it for a long time, but I've been playing it for a few years, and this mending makes the game way more fun because you can just AFK at an XP farm. You can, it kind of like auto repairs your tools unless you're like mining or doing like a um, like quarry digging or something like that. Most of your stuff kind of stays relatively full. So like my armor is like almost always full and it is wonderful. So the first thing I wanted to do was make a villager spawner and breeder so we could trade with some villagers. I'm gonna turn around this way. Uh, to do the reveal so we could trade with villagers and get mending books because I saw impulse impulse SV do it on hurry craft and you know I've I know about villager trading and stuff I just haven't really done that that heavily in the past uh, you can see some remnants of some uh, tree farming some wood farming that I've done over here um, I'm not ADHD I promise <laughs> uh, but I do keep getting off track um, oh, did you see that guy? Did he fall from up there? Oh my gosh. And he's got gold armor too. Anyway, that was hilarious. I think I watched him fall from up there. I've been wondering how sometimes randomly uh, mobs will spawn. I'm going to have to go and fix that. Put some lights, some torches up there. As you can see, I don't go crazy at all with the torches. Yeah, I'm kind of a torch fanatic. Because... I don't like mobs spawning when I'm in a workplace and I actually lit up this whole entire area because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. All right, so back to our uh, note about many. So we wanted some many books. So we came here over here. There's the original village and I brought some villagers over here to start a new village and make a villager spawner. You see, I don't have any um, farmers in here right now. 
So I have some farmers in here that if I want this to go on again, I could bring over some farmers that would harvest this and you know make everybody breed and then over there um, is a drop a trap door with um, then I also have a blocker and I can adjust the AC now it's open uh, there's a there's a trap door with water that will take villagers over this way and we'll get to this here in a moment so what I first did was I actually did a couple different designs but one of the first things we did was okay we are going to trade with librarians so we need lots of sugar cane so I built these sugar cane farms um, you know the, the automatic ones and it's most of the time there isn't it's not like me or one other person on the server so we don't have too much server lag um, the server that I built um, I built a uh, a computer for to host our service actually I've built two our very first one one of my friends helped me put together um, and that was great and that service served us for a good two years on the first two server or the first yeah the first two minecraft worlds that we made the first one we call it vanilla vanilla ice cream or um, vanilla ice no not vanilla ice but uh, and then the second server we called Amplified because it was an Amplified world. And then now we are at Zundabar. And the reason I chose Zundabar for the name was because it doesn't sound like anything that I've heard of before. And I wanted a Z to be in it. Yes, that is it. I wanted a Z to be in it. And it was kind of like a unique word that I just came up with. And so, yeah, there we are. Um, and so, yeah, obviously here's our sugar cane farms and they just automatically push all the sugar cane down into here and all of these water streams take all of our sugar cane down to, um, if I can, there we go down into some hoppers. Boom. Here we go. They used to fall into these all used to be chests right here. Just row layers and layers of chests, but these oh oh that's right i was like where's all the other hoppers and then i remembered here's furnaces on top of the hoppers in case you didn't know furnaces on top of hoppers reduce server lag like i mentioned there we don't really have uh server lag but you know if we were to ever come across it i don't want to like come back search through my server for all of the things that we can improve to improve the performance so i just went ahead and added furnaces right on top so they're going to drop down into here and the sugar cane is going to flow all the way over into here and then it's going to go into this area. And so I know you can't see in here right now. I will show you that shortly. You see there's a bunch of dugout spaces right here. So it's going to flow into that area. Oh, I think we just had another spot. Okay. So in case in case it lagged there, we got we got all of those hoppers flowing into that building right there. Oh, and you can see here that here's, um, yeah, these are just some maintenance uh, areas. Actually, it looks like I'm going to have to, let's drop this for a moment. Oh, did you guys see that uh, sugar cane going through? There we go. Now we can get back up here. Um, and up, 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 and away we go. I'm really excited. This is actually this is the the next biggest project that I just finished. Um, and then over here, this is um, AFK fishing farm. By the way, in case you guys haven't seen this, um, I think the original design. I forget who made the original design, but I saw Exuma use it uh, and on his channel, and I was like, oh man, that's such a great idea. And so I used it as well. Um, so right here we have the drop down that goes into our mass uh, mass crafting station. So that's what this is right here. And you can see we got a couple lights on right now. Uh, but yeah, here we go. Here is a bunch of sugar cane, uh, tons of sugar cane. I have it set up so the light goes on when the sh when all of these chests are filled up. So they're really good. So you come in here once it's all full. You use your you use your axe break all these chests and there's just tons of you know close the door behind you there's just tons of sugar cane laying all over the floor what you do is you walk over and you go like this and then you can go boom 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 use the hotkey like one um to to craft <clears throat> really really fast all of the sugar cane into paper 
Um, and so what I mean one by one by one is you fill up your inventory with paper um, and then except for this spot you go and stand right here and look at a crafting table and open it up when you hit one right here one's the hot key for your first item it's just gonna go back up and then it's like you just just slam one and just keep going through and then clicking and all the paper goes into here and then what you do with the paper once you have the paper you drop them into all of these big double chests. These single chests are for to like put your put your items when you're mass crafting. And then once you craft a bunch of paper and you're putting them in these double chests, the paper is actually going to and I'll show you what this is for in a second. Come down to this room and this was the one of the most recent things that I finished. This is an item elevator i know right quite quite the quite the massive room just for an item elevator but you know what this was i was pretty proud of of this whole this whole uh contraption how it works and so i kind of gave it a grand um room to show it off the redstone and the and this is by um the item elevator for 1.10 by il mango um he is great redstoner and i've used a couple of his contraptions in the past and this is just a you know a typical item one of the glass item elevators where the items um pop out in here so you can see we have some extra storage so if you're doing a bunch of crafting crafting up in there um there's quite a few double chests that will fill up before uh those those chests at the very top start um uh filling all the way up to the top so you could do several of those um mass crafting areas uh i guess columns you could columns of chests and have plenty of storage down here and so these are pretty much hoppers that takes the paper and so all the paper comes down flows into these chests which then get taken by hoppers into two different let's see here jump across two different dispensers so here's one there here's one there and the paper just gets popped out into these water streams then both the water streams so this one comes around goes into this side and then this water stream comes over into this one and these are these are uh, stone stairs but they go right there and they come across and they go bloop and then these trap doors kind of push them up and it goes up into the sky and you see you can kind of see that window right there that was the window for the crafting room so you can actually watch some of your things get pushed up into the sky so let's go ahead i'll do i'll do actually why not um i'll do some right here actually what we'll do is we'll put uh um a stack of ink sacks into here and we'll watch yep see the ink sacks hit the dispenser so you guys can see this in action you come over here oh and then there's a stopper that kind of make sure it make sure that these go up boom and there's some that go up there <laughs> and then stops yep see and there you go and that's how it works so let me go ahead and oops it actually fell down a couple times and i was i thought to myself ah uh, because i keep falling down i need a way to get back up so then i build oh I think we got a leg there. Um, I kept falling down, so I'm like, I'm going to need a fancy way to get back up here into this walkway because this is pretty cool. Um, so I built these little side areas. I think it's it's pretty sweet. Nice, some slabs. I really like the way um, this, this room looks. <clears throat> and I really, my favorite thing about this room is the ceiling. Um, it's just kind of like a wavy, like stone slabs just back and forth. Uh, with sea lanterns um, in the oh my goodness we're missing some right there oh you know what I know what that's from it's because um, we had a beacon going and so you can see that that's where the beacon was and there was uh, we had two beacon streams going up into the sky uh, for insta mine and some speed so I will have to fix that <clears throat> um, anyway where where were we oh yeah um so you put the paper in the these chests and they come up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some some ink in there so we can kind of watch it work. Actually, let me do a little bit more. 
And then that way, it'll just keep going. Oh, you can kind of hear the dispensers. It's a little quiet, but I hear the dispensers going off. And then we should see them. Yep, there they go. So pretty, pretty cool. And we should see um, two of them coming up. I know the other one has the longer water stream. Yep, there's the far one. Yep. And so they, those items go up. So now let's see if we can go up and catch these. So now here is a minecart elevator. So it's pretty easy. You jump in, you look up at the mine, you look up at the minecart and hold the right click. So that's going to take us up here and see, look, here is our items being teleported up. Oh man, I just love this. This is so cool. Yep. And that is just white stained glass right there. Uh, taking the top. So then it's going to be sucked up by these hoppers, taken by these hoppers. And just so you guys know, I do not have an iron farm yet. All of the hoppers that you've seen so far are mined or caved. <laughs> Trust me. It's been a lot of mining for these, uh, this iron. So, but it, at, at the same time, you find a lot of iron when you're, when you're mining for diamonds. So, you know, really, I just like do some mining sessions, really going for the diamonds, but you end up coming across a lot of iron along the way. So then here, so they come across and then here's all the storage for the paper up here and you can see here this is where our ink sacks are dropping in so now there's two these two different hoppers they don't go into the same priority um uh chess so yeah so they they start filling up from here first so here um here was our first remember this was our first one that we uh our first stack of ink sacks that we grabbed from or sorry, that we put in the dispenser, so I could show you the dispenser. And then we have, remember we put two in on the one side, the left side, and we also put two in on the right side. You can see zero loss, uh, zero loss transportation of those items. A wonderful, wonderful system. All right, so remember how I kind of pointed out to you guys earlier that uh, this is a villager spawner. Uh, we got the villagers down there, so they would be spawned and then they fall down into this water stream and I have a drowning, I need to hook this up to a redstone switch, but this lever, I'm gonna expand it right there so it's all one control panel. Uh, but when the villagers are adults and they grow up, they will float all the way up this el villager elevator, I should say, mobs, <laughs> and you can pretty, use it for anything. Then they're gonna go across over here and they're gonna land right here. So you can see, the reason I don't have that villager spawner on right now is because look at this. Look how many there are right now. There is like, I think 100 the last time I checked. Let's here look. Let's see here. How many entities? 83. Yeah, I think before it was up to, it was like at 130, like 125 or 130 villagers. And I was like, yeah, that's enough for uh, to last me a while. So I turned the villager spawner off, uh, took all the farmers out. Uh, and you can see right here, this is a um, minecart system. So when I want another villager in my trading area, um, I press a button. Uh, minecart, the buttons, the signal comes all the way over here, powers all of these droppers, pulls up, pushes out a minecart. Minecart comes through here, picks up one villager, continues down here. <coughs> the activator rail um, activates uh, some pistons on a delay. And then it goes, and you can kind of see it. Um, you can barely, ah, no, you can't really see it from here. But there's a cactus over there. And see those, those dorite blocks? Those are pistons. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can. Oh, man, I don't have a good way to get over there right now. Actually, um, I'm going to go ahead and jump. Woo! Whoa, whoa, almost fell. So the minecart comes this way. It breaks when it hits the cactus. And because it hit that activator rail. So now, usually when it breaks, sometimes the villager, I was finding that the villager would sometimes, sometimes fall down in the hole that I wanted him to. Other times the villager would land here. Other times he would stay standing here or here. So when it hits that activator rail, it's going to push these pistons out. So if he's standing here, he's going to go down the hole. If he's standing here, he's going to go onto this one. And then um, I have it timed. So then this piston fires and then he'll drop out. So any villager that 
um, when the mine car breaks, he gets pushed down and it drops right here for my trading. And so then I will just go ahead and hop. Okay, good. I can get over here safely. So this is the button that will push for a new villager. <clears throat> and when I pull this lever, see this floor? This floor would drop out um, below him. And then if I do not want to keep, if I am done with this guy, I just hit that lever and it moves the floor and this guy drops down and dies. And we're done with him. Um, and then if I accidentally drop some items or, you know, one of them trading, I go like this and accidentally throw something or I need an extra thing, um, trap door that it's, uh, it's, it's useful for that. Then we're going to come over here. And so I have a couple different systems set up right here. These, uh, le levers, 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 uh, tomato, tomato, you know, it's all the same. If I want to keep a librarian, let's say I get a librarian with a mending book, I can I can flip this lever, and it puts a uh, a block in in the fall way of this librarian. Then what I'm going to do is when he's so I'm, and then I'm going to open up this, and so he's going to fall and be standing on the librarian block. Then this drop librarian drop is because then I'm going to drop him into place. Now, it's one thing I don't have built is like a nice trading. Like if I want to keep these guys, I just got to make like a little area where I can put the ones that I want to keep like for long-term training, like mending books or uh, some other valuable uh, enchanted book that I might want um, and keep it over there. <clears throat> so, um, and then this, I would just, using the piston, the piston pool, oops, there we go. The new 1.10, I think it's one, we'll introduce in 1.10, where you get pulled through a piston block if it's extended and pushed through. We utilize that. Um, and then the farmer one, remember how I showed you that little container right there? And that's what this water stream is leading to. So every farm that I've gotten over here, so I think I've gotten like four or five um, out of that 40 that I've gone through um, so far. Um, it drops into this water stream. I drop them into this water stream. They go all the way down. They drop down into that container. And then I am saving them for some redstone automated, um, not redstone. Yeah, some automated villager farms that will have in the future. So that's how this whole system works. So overall, it's pretty much automatic. I take my AFK account and I sit over here for, uh, I just let it sit for a couple days. Lots of sugar cane builds up i do a bunch of trading um or i'm sorry a bunch of crafting into sugar i put it into the system it comes up and then it all gets dispensed over here and then i spend some time trading with the villagers and actually let me show you real fast what we've collected so far boom look at these blocks of emeralds these are <laughs> blocks of emeralds this thing this is this is almost an entire double chest full of regular em emeralds so, yeah, so that is what we've done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat some salmon. Nom, 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 nom. And I'm sure you guys can kind of see out of the corner of my screen. You're like wondering like, what the heck? Why is this like random string of sand or lights kind of like a marker? And as you know, if you want to make a mob spawner or some kind of mob farm, you want to be hundred at least 128 blocks away from any other mobs. And so I mark this from this right there. And I'm sure you guys can see kind of what that is. That is a squid farm. And yes, I thought if I just built it close to this farm because it'd be AFKing by the for the sugar a lot, I could just AFK over here and get tons of ink farm. I built this entire thing and I'll show you it in a second. But, and then I went and laid the boundaries afterwards and look at this. As soon as I like started like laying this and I was just kind of, you know, just doing the grind, watching Netflix, um, I actually laid it over there and then I came over here and I was like laying the sand wall of the markers of water that I would have to like remove. And I was like, this is like, insane amount of work for an ink farm why am i doing this it's going to be less work to go <laughs> there's some sheep in a boat uh, i know random right it's going to be a lot less work just to go to a desert find a place with no water so no squids are spawning anywhere else 
and rebuild this entire thing. So I'm going to go ahead and drop down. And we also have a nice drop right there. Um, I need to make, I'm going to make some like water things so we can drop down safely. But yeah, you can see this, and this, uh, this is, and this is sweet. Um, ink farm there's all these water streams and then all the squid spawn and then they fall down right through those wooden gates and then they fall down like um, i forget how many i think it was like 18 blocks or something like that don't quote me on that you have to look it up double check uh, if you want to build this yourself um i just kind of expanded it you know a lot of a lot of people will build oh, let's see there's the afk spot a lot of people will build like an actual like ink looking guy with these falling out of it like uh looking like tentacles it was pretty cool but um you know i i, I wasn't i wasn't feeling it i just kind of wanted to build the functionality and kind of like make it look nice and so that's what i did but this is broken so but never fear you know what we can repurpose this we can remove all this water remove this glass and make it into something else um, for fun, maybe some other farm or something, or maybe just some other decoration, uh, while we AFK here, maybe we could just make it like this, the biggest, like the biggest, uh, quarry for AFK ever. <laughs> what a, uh, what a waste, not a waste, but you can see, uh, one thing I'm looking forward to is centralizing a lot of these chests. You can see is this is just like wood chests, random items. Oh, there is my sponges. So I'm going to go ahead and drop these. I've been, so I had my sponges. I have almost three stacks of sponges spread across this map. And I've been like looking to kind of centralize uh, them. And so I finally got them all. So I grabbed them. Uh, I had some at the previous, our, our new ink farm, which I'll show you guys in a bit. Um, yeah, and I just found these other ones. Perfect. That, that's what I was looking for. Um, you see quite a few chests of, so these are all like stone and, yeah, stone and sand, dorite and granite and andestite and just a lot, a lot of blocks um, spread across this world that I need to centralize in my new home base, which we will get into in a bit. So yeah, that's this area. Here's an enchanting table. I, I'm surprised. Um, you know, like I mentioned, I haven't really done very much literature trading before uh, 1.10 came out or before, you know, the mending came out or 1.9. Man, I keep saying, I keep mixing those up. But man, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised too how much XP it gives you. So anyway, that is this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop back in the portal. Now we are back here at the hub. Let's go ahead and take you to the actual working ink farm, our desert, where we found our first acacia wood. Uh, there's also another mesa, desert, and extreme hills where these three biomes meet. Like, it's it's a really cool area um, that I hope to uh, build in. Uh, someday but for now we just get some clay from the mesa that's kind of what we're um, going towards so let's go ahead head this way all right and we are here so desert farm i know what you're thinking how can you farm a desert but <clears throat> when you are building things that require loads and loads of glass and loads and loads of sandstone where do you go to get it the desert the desert farm. Oh, and then here, while you're here, <clears throat> you can see recently I just harvested, I harvested these recently, the last time I was this way. But, so, uh, but, you know, they're all, they're all still growing. So when you're over here collecting sand or sandstone, these are growing, uh, you're kind of multi-purposing. But you can see here, we got a little stairway. It will just take you along this way. So you can see here from starting here, all the way over there and even past that you can see there's no sand oh yeah i'm oh, sorry uh, no, uh, no yeah no sand right here there's no sand over this whole big box i've used quite a bit of sand in my um uh, functionality builds and then you can see over here obviously i removed all the sand and then i dug down to collect a bunch of the sandstone that i needed for um the failed ink farm so anywho uh, yeah, so this is 
where you would come to collect all that inform all the sand and uh, sandstone. So now, and I think it's, oh yeah, so here's the Acacia Desert. I think it's, yeah, it's that way. It's right over, see this big mountain right here? It's over that is where our ink farm is. So here's the desert that I went to. And you see, I saw this water here. So I ran that way to get away from the water. Oh, here we have a horse. Oh, did you see that horse just walked into the portal? Ha, no way. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, she's stuck. Oh no, sorry dude, I can't help you. I didn't have anything. I could have broken him out, but that would just been annoying to have a horse in the nether, so sorry dude. <laughs> so here we are, ink farm. So remember I pointed out it is this way and to the right. So our eight times nether travel portal will take us behind that big mountain that we were just pointing to into our wonderful ink farm and voila so actually this is where i just was collecting um a bunch of these ink sacks so you can see down here i have another chest full of these you can see um i just i just emptied a bunch of this so these are all chests that will fill up over time with ink sacks from our wonderful and this is obviously at the bottom of the ink farm so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and head up this ladder. Yep, there we go. Oh, you can kind of see. Here's the top of it. Um, and we're going to head up this ladder. So I'll just give you guys a preview of the ink farm. And so I have this back way. Oh, this is this is like my AFK spot. This is where I would, I would stand is like right here. Um, when I AFK here, <clears throat> I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build like a glass section. So when you come to AFK, you can just like stand right here and watch a bunch of the squids uh, fall and uh, die and br bring us lots and lots of ink sacks. So, but we're gonna come up here to the top. I'm just gonna show you guys. Here we are in the desert. I know you're like, why did you just build this right here with this? Why didn't you like make it over here? I'll tell you why, because there's a bunch of water right over here, and that's a lot less water I had to sponge out. And uh, plus, I think it would look cool. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the decorations yet. Uh, but yeah, look familiar, my friends. So here we are with the um, ink farm. We've got all the water streams, and you can see here I did a little bit of a different design on the walls. Uh, partly because it was easier just to do red lines instead of that little red design that I did before. I <laughs> um, also use signs. You can see the signs look a little bit better too to stop the water than the, um, than what are they called? The gates, the fence gates instead. You can use either one. Um, s fence gates are better in the sense of um, you can place them um, like you have, you have to place them on a block, uh, and they work really well. Uh, but if you were to like break the, oh, I started from over there. If you were to break the furthest sign on this side, this whole row of signs would fall. So signs are not good for like, I guess, contingency, but like, I'm never going to be down in there, like breaking those signs. So, and a creeper should never be on the other side of this wall blowing up. So this is like zero risk of these breaking. So, you know what? I went with signs because I think they look better than the fence gates. And you can see here, uh, my last design, one thing I did do is I removed all of the rails because I was going to repurpose them into here right away. So you see all of the squid spawn and they fall down to the bottom and then the mine carts pick them all up and you can see that one just dropped off some right there. The mine carts uh, pick up all the ink and then they stop at the end here, uh, unloading stations. So there's four different ones um, that go and that way if I go in AFK for a while and I come back, sometimes, and I have to figure this out, sometimes the mine carts will stop in the rail and i'm not sure exactly why as i can see that one's unloading oh it's unloading quite a bit so yeah that's that's good sign it's working really good obviously you're like oh this isn't a very good it's not working very well right now because i'm so close to it but when you go and stand that afk spot i probably afk there for yeah like 20 minutes yeah and i already i had got like a couple double chests of ink <laughs> so pretty 
pretty crazy. And you can see here, like I mentioned before, just lots of double chests just full of blocks, mainly from digging this out. Um, other materials, sand, sand. Um, I need to come and pick all this up and drop it off at my home base. So, but I don't have a home base storage room yet. So that is something I'm very high on my to-do list to do. So we can run around, collect all of our resources all over the world and have them in one spot. So here we are. And um, now let's go on. All right, boom. And we are back to the hub. And I do have a couple plans for this hub already or for some of the nether tunnels. But, um, you know, it's not it's not super high on my priority right now um, because, you know, it works. I don't use it like a ton. It's very useful, but I think um, it's not the highest on my list, but it's definitely, I should say, it's it's probably like medium priority um, because I do want to automate this, maybe get some, you know, automated travel using the, the pistons, the mine carts and uh, sticky, uh, sorry, slime blocks and sticky pistons and some of that automated transportation that I could do so I could just hop in where I want to go and then just go there, walk away from my computer for a moment, you know, grab a grab a cup of water, use the restroom, uh, save some time. All right, so we showed you the spawn base. That's where we started off. So, and then we just went over to our desert farm and our ink farm, showed you that. And then also, yeah, um, Acacia Wood is just uh, the biome where the Acacia Wood spawns. I forget the exact name, but that's where you could go to grab some saplings. But now that I have a bunch of saplings, um, I just continually do that. Um, oh, and then we showed you the village where we do all of our trading to get a bunch of emeralds. And then at last, we have, and this is also the same direction that we will go to show you my home base area. So I'll start with the guardian farm, and then we'll, we'll show you uh, the home base. Uh, we're going to go through. Boom. And in case you haven't seen one of these before, this is where a guardian temple used to be, where this big box is essentially now, and um, actually extending to these where the glass is almost, uh, except for three diagonal blocks in. I can see right here, here's some glass, you can look straight up. And this was a lot of time. To dig out this is i i spent a couple weeks on and off doing this here and there little bits uh wow you can see all of the the squid spawning everywhere because mo most of these caves around here are lit up and um here we have uh, the guardians dropping in and so actually one of the most like when the game goes to spawn mobs it just reads that like the most open area is this water and so it just spawns tons of squids yeah so here and we got a couple slime chunks in this area oh you can see this slime just spawned um but yeah this took a lot of time to clear out so a pretty big and then obviously I dug down and so you're like well like you made it right here you didn't have to dig down no I didn't but I wanted to make this like into something cool and I still haven't decided what I'm going to do long term yet, but it's, it, it was a lot of fun. You can see over here, all of the, that's all filled up behind there. Those are double chests of stone all com completely filled here. I have an automated smelter, um, using lava buckets. I've been grabbing lava buckets from down there. I bring them back up here. Um, I put them in there, but yeah, a lot of, Oop, there we go. I, I think we're getting a little lag there. Little drops. Um, I wonder if it's because of the Guardian farm. Anyway. All right. Here, here we are up top. And, man, that took a lot of time cleaning out the water. And I figured out why I was just having some problems. And I just reloaded Minecraft and everything seems to be working fine now. But when I look over here, uh, <laughs> our spawner has been at hard at work making her villagers. And I actually forgot to remove this block so they could fall in. Well, actually, I didn't. I didn't forget. I forgot to 
break a block over there so the baby villagers would walk over and then fall in. Uh, you can see one one of them did. But I need to I need to put a water stream right there to push all of the villagers that have spawned and gotten that have gotten over into here to push down into this right here. And so as you can see, this is the same design. Uh, this is will where mine carts will pick up villages, villagers, and eventually distribute them to the iron golem farms that we will have floating in the air here. So now I'm going to show you the design since we're up here. I'm going to show you the design first of what we're going to do with our iron titan, farm. not an iron titan. Excuse me, our iron golem farms are going to be. All right. Here we are in my test world, and this is the typical design for an iron golem farm, the simple one where we put the villagers in over here. On the four sides, we've got some villagers, and then we put the water uh, blocks. Oh yeah, so here here's the finished one, different design, uh, but but the the functionality is complete. So here where we have the doors, you can see I was trying out a couple different door types. Um, but this one is completed and you can see the water streams would push all the iron golems to the middle and they drop down. And I really like the way this glass looks. It's, it's, it's really cool from a distance. Um, but we're, we're not, probably not going to use it for this build. See, it doesn't, doesn't that look cool? Especially like when you turn, it kind of like, and if, if you get exactly on, it's like the blocks fill in. Oops, we're going to go up. It's like the blocks fill in a full, but then you like turn and it's like, what? Anyway, you see a bunch of other contraptions that way that we'll get into uh, later. But yeah, I really like this design. So think of this. Um, we are at the Guardian Farm. And then in each of the four ways, we are going to have these acacia wood uh, pillars for supports just shooting up into the sky. They're going to go up high in the sky. And then connected to these pillars, um, probably we're going to start, I don't know, maybe 50 blocks above the water or so. We're going to make one of these on all four sides. Okay? And then once we have one of these on all four sides, we're going to go up another 80 blocks. Um, actually, maybe, maybe 100 um, you only need to go up another 80 blocks, but I think we're going to do 100 just to be safe and then for it to look cool. Uh, and then we're going to build another set, another four of them on each side. So this will be eight total of these hooked up to these acacia supports up in the sky floating on each side of the Guardian farm. And I'm, I think it's just going to look awesome. And... So then what happens is from the ones that are going to be up top, so you can see I just started an, another one up there, the iron golems are going to drop through here. And then you know how it's all ocean floor. It's all ocean floor around our guardian farm. What we're going to do is we're going to have the iron golems drop into the water, sink down to the bottom. There'll be some guiders like glass, like black glass or something in the water. So they sink uh, straight down into the water through the ocean floor and then they will hit a path that will take them into the middle of the guardian farm to the death chamber and so when you are standing up in the air like like you'll be at the afk spot for the guardian farm which should be kind of in between the two um uh the two iron golem farms you will just see iron golems falling from all four sides of you into the water and then if you look straight down you'll see them being transported into the middle into the kill chamber to be killed and then the iron collected and i'm just so excited i just think this looks really cool um the one thing too about this this bottom part right here actually see how it's kind of like a shoot that kind of like points down what i'm thinking of doing is going down here down here and then maybe maybe we just like do an invert like go back up so it would be like it would be like down 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 step down and then step up up 
you know, so these these like last three or these last two would be like back up in it. So, but I'm not sure. I haven't tried that yet. I'm gonna see um, how that looks. Otherwise, you know what? This is a pretty cool design. Um, <clears throat> you know what I might do is I just might do this one layer and then maybe this layer and then kind of like just bring it straight in from there because I like this this little this little angle drop is pretty cool, but I think it extends too far down and it kind of takes away from the design we got going on up here, which is which is the the coolest part of it. And I think it kind of draws too much attention away from this from this wonderful part up here. So yeah, so if we remove some of the blocks down here and then we'll just have um, a nice looking um, iron golem farm up here. And you can see I really like the way the supports are. And then if you ever were to come over here, you can step and then walk around on the outside of this <laughs> so if you had an ender pearl you could toss it onto this and you could like walk around the edge of it and then to top it off okay well okay i'm not going to reveal some more plans right now but um i just get, i'm just really excited about these farms once we get all these built then we i have another plan in my head that i'll share with you guys uh, after these are all built and it's going to be epic it's going to be awesome so now let's go back over to the server and continue on with our tour. But now you can see what I was talking about here. We have our AFK spot, um, which is right there. You can kind of see this green piece of glass right there. That's the AFK spot, perfectly high for the, AF for the Guardian farm to work. So we're at this height. So this is right above where our second layer of iron golem farms would be. So pretty much like right here. Let's see here. And we are at Y 232. So pretty high up there. Um, yeah. So I think, yeah, like I think it was like 50 so or blocks up like right around almost flush with this. I think it was um, or maybe a little bit below. Uh, we make our first iron golem farm so we'll have one here one here one here and one on this side and so from the stilts popping out and so you can see right there i kind of have a marker right there so that you see there's uh four blocks raised at the very end of that that will be the center of the iron golem farm on each side so about out that far and then straight up is that center of the farm so you can see the acacia wood those big columns, stilts, um, supporting coming out from four, the four corners, coming straight up, and then all of these villagers will be dropped into our island golem farm. And I'm just really excited. I think it's just going to look so cool with them floating in the air. Uh, we can see the Minecraft sun uh, setting. And it's now dark. Oh, no. And it's raining. Oh, my goodness. But you can see this is a really cool area. The village... Uh, trading area it's just lots and lots and lots of sea lanterns and prismarine bricks and dark prismarine uh, and the main reason for that is I haven't really built with that stuff before this is my first guardian farm that I've built and I haven't really used that block um, ever before for like building material so that's kind of the theme that most of my builds have taken on this um in this server so far so obviously we have this wonderful nice spawner making us lots of building material with that and it's really easy like you just go afk and then you craft for a few minutes and then you have like an entire inventory full of building blocks like one of the easiest building blocks resources to get <clears throat> Um, anyway, so, but I built this and I actually originally built this just to be a farm, like to come here and get materials. And I had another place picked out, but you know, and then I thought to myself, if I'm going to build this and then I had that idea for the iron golem farms, cause I'm like, okay, if I'm going to build, build, build AFK in a lot over here, this is where I should build my iron farms. Um, cause I didn't want to build them at spawn. Um, you know, I want to do something else, different theme with that area. So, you know, I don't need a ton of iron having eight farms and then just being around here. Um, and I have another AFK account. It's, it's going to be more than enough iron. So I don't need to like do it in spawn. Um, but you know, I'm like, I'm going to put all this work in this area. I should build my home base here. 
and just kind of like connect it all together. And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, and what my original plan was elsewhere was to have a couple islands and kind of connect them and kind of make a complex, like a base complex. And I'm just so excited to use like, you know, the Guardian Farm, the Prismarine bricks. It's just going to look great. So you can see here, we already kind of have that theme. Here's a couple islands right here. Boom. And we look over here. We've got the island. This is the biggest island uh, around. This is all flattened off in upcoming in a little bit. You'll see actually we're going to go back in time to when I cleared this and flattened it up and kind of started building over there. So uh, I actually just started building in this area. And so I'm excited to take you guys from that point forward. I will keep you up to date on all of my projects and we can kind of, you can kind of see them as they progress uh, instead of coming into um, a lot of already built uh, stuff. So for example, this guardian farm would have been a couple weeks of, um, or, you know, a couple, couple random updates of just showing uh, the drop-offs and me just soaking up tons of water with sponges, drying them out, and repeat over and over and over and over. Uh, and then we also have some hills over here, uh, which are great. We're going to um, be able to maybe put some, uh, you know, complexes in there, maybe build like a missile silo, be fun to make. Anyway, but you know, I having this like ocean complex theme, I'm just really excited for. Um, and, and usually in the past, I will like get this idea and it'll be like, okay, I'm going to make this massive structure and it takes me forever. And, and at the end, it doesn't look that great. Um, I've done that a couple times. And so you know what? I realized that I can build massive things, but I can start off small and then expand them. And so, you know, I was going to like make this entire island a building. And I'm like, no, no, that's, that's, so all I'm going to do is actually I have a great idea is I'm going to make like the complex, um, it will take up most of the island, but then we'll have like, you know, I was worried, okay, well, how I'm going to do like the edges, how do I make a complex that goes flush with this exact design of the island? And I'm like, you know what? I don't need to do that. I can just like come up with a design and then build it. And then if I need to expand it, I can, can expand it later. Um, because what I end up doing is I tend to try to think like, okay, I need to have this huge, awesome, cool project. And it needs to be epic. But no, not everything needs to be epic. So I'm just really excited to kind of just, you know, build stuff on a smaller scale that looks better, that has more detail, looks nicer. And I think that's just, it's just, um, that's kind of what I've been focusing on on this server. I think my builds have been coming out much, much better than they have in the past. Um, aside, obviously, from, you know, large projects like this. Um, but uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to head down this way. Now, this is the point in time when I wish I had an Elytra. I'm watching the guys on Hermicraft just fly around. Like from here, I'd be easily, very easily able to make that. Um, it would be fantastic, but you know what? We're, actually, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and drop down because why not? And I think this—I don't think I'll hit this. I think this is the same block as the glass. So you know what? We're gonna get a running start. Actually, you know what? Oh, this is why I built this over here, this platform. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna head down to our base now. Oh. Uh, before I do that, though, I also want to share some my some ideas that I'm thinking. So we're gonna build a like a kind of like a home like castle right here, or maybe not a castle, just like a building. That will be our home base. So we're gonna have our Nether portal and our main storage area, and then we're gonna dig down into this island, and then that is where we're gonna be building a lot of our farms, just kind of functionality. So most of my base will be underground, like in this island. And then from there, what we're going to do is my plans are to expand out. So you can see, like, you can kind of make out the ocean floor, like the gravel, and like the little bits uh, and pieces of um, it changing elevation. And so you could, and you see how much light the light reflects, especially in night. So what I'm thinking of doing is like making glass tunnels along 
the ocean floor to like these different islands and kind of almost having like a subway of like a rail cart subway to the to like these islands uh there's like a little outpost out there i think there's one or two out there and then over to this the large chunk of mass of um of land over here one coming to our guardian farm to collect guardian material or you know guardian bricks and and iron and such and then you can see there um there's also i don't i don't know if we're gonna go f out that way any further maybe we connect the guardian farm over here just for fun if we if we need more things to expand to but i mean it's gonna be a lot of work but i'm excited to see that like then you'd you'd be up here um you'd have some type of viewing place and you could come up here and you could just like glance across um obviously you have to have your rendering distance up like i do right now and so you can just see in the distance you see this main structure and just branching off tunnels all to these little islands with little structures on them just little things here and there uh, maybe we'll do like a, over here's like a beach like beach fun area and then over here's like a we'll have maybe like a jungle maybe I'll make like an island that's just like a like all jungle trees and stuff uh, maybe different themed islands um, and maybe here like we build a ship or no no actually that I mean that's island why would I do that there maybe maybe we can have like a tunnel coming out to like right here and we can like build a ship that we uh, uh, set sail from. So lots of lots of opportunity, lots of ideas flowing through my head right now, and I'm just really excited to be sharing this. Um, I've 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 been wanting to to start a YouTube channel for some time now, and it's something that um, I've been thinking about. There's a couple different games I play, but mainly Minecraft is one of the ones that I'll be doing the most YouTube content on. But um, another one of my favorites is Dota, Dota 2. If any of you play Dota 2, woohoo! All right, you are my peeps. Um, we do that, and I also play some console games on Xbox One as well. So, but obviously, I can't stream those. I can't put those on YouTube. Well, I'm sure there's a way I can like set up a camera. I have a GoPro. Anyway, but you guys will be getting some other content, or I'll be creating some other content for my channel. I don't expect a ton of people to be watching this um but for those who have watched thus far thank you um i hope that my friends in real life that i've referred to watch this too thanks so much for sitting through and listening to this and i hope you are able to come and join me on the server and i can showcase your stuff and we can do videos together uh yeah Anyway, that's me uh, just enticing some of my friends to, uh, to to join join me more in here. So without further ado, let's head to our island by the <laughs> splash. <laughs> oh man, I love that every time. And you can see, oh yeah, all those guardians spawned on our way down. Look at all those guys. So funny, you can see here I use fence gates. Um, remember before I was talking about the difference between fence gates and signs? Yep, and oh man, lots of hoppers. Remember how I told you? No, obviously I haven't put in the iron farms yet. So much iron. I've used so many hoppers. Um, it's ridiculous. So if I can get into this boat, there we go. And we're going to... Go over here yeah you can see more coming into view like the mountains over here and then actually this this you can't really see it right now but there's like a natural valley um and water right there so i'm really excited um and maybe maybe i can come over here for a moment and show you kind of yeah as i come this way you can kind of see how this opens up and then right in here in this crevice it's like water yeah you can see it right there like where the it opens up into water and it's really cool i think that'd be pretty cool to make you know like some structures around around the top of this area and then kind of all looking down and then have like a port in there maybe i'll make like a battleship and then that will be like a navy station or something so all right but here we have the guardian farm off in the distance and our home base under construction so i will take you now to what this island looked like previously before I cleared it off and then we get started with some projects. Thanks for watching guys.